Hello, YouTube modeling community. Mike here, Mike's Miniature Motors. Um, I'm behind on my video, so I don't remember exactly if it was a day or two or three ago. Um, probably longer than that when Brian posted it, but uh, Brian and BG Model Works have recently acquired the, the Fujimi Dome Zero. And uh, I placed in the comments that I have the car in a different box. Uh, I stand corrected, Brian. I don't have the street version of that car. I actually have the racing version. And I uh, just wanted to do a quick video to show what it was. I've never done an unboxing video, but uh, here's the box. I'm just going to open it up, show you the contents, so you can kind of look and kind of see the difference. In case you've ever seen this kit. I haven't gone on eBay or Amazon or anything like that to see what the availability is on either kit. Uh, the street kit was pretty neat, you know. Now that I saw that, I didn't uh, don't think I've ever seen it. Here's the uh, let me maybe put the camera up. Sorry, guys, tripod just kind of fell. Um, there's the instructions. I'm not going to necessarily go through them. I'll just show you the parts. Um, here's the the back half of the car, the tail, the engine cover, whatever you want to call it. Here's the uh, front part of the car. So it is a lot different than the, I mean, it has the overall shape like most race cars, but it does have a different body. That's, I know that nose is a lot different than what's on the stock one. Um, here's the chrome tree. There's a, at least uh, the back wheels. I think that's the back wheels. I don't know where the front wheels are. I guess we'll come across those in a minute. Uh, it's been a long time since I've had this kit. I just bought it because it was something that was different. Um... It was Fujimi, you know, Fujimi to me at the time. When this kit came out, I used to buy almost everything that they came out with just because I like their kits so much. There's the glass. I don't know how well you can see it through the glare of the clear plastic. Here's, uh, looks like the cockpit. Oh, there's the front wheels. Back it up a little bit so you can see a little better. A few more parts. <clears throat> Looks like here's the uh, the chassis pan, the main chassis pan. Looks like it was meant to be motorized. Double uh, A battery compartment there. Looks like. Does have a engine block transmission and uh, looks like these are probably exhaust manifolds of some sort. Tires are all slicks. You know, I, I never realized that there was a street version out there. I probably would have probably tried to get it at the time. But, uh, just didn't. Um, there's decals. They actually look like they're in pretty good shape. I don't know if those should be white, white or not. But all this here looks good. You know, it's not yellowed. So, but, uh, that's about it, guys. I just, uh, I stand corrected, Brian. You know, I didn't. I didn't have the the street version of a different kit. Uh, went out to the stash to go look so I could show you the box cover because I knew it was like red and white on the box versus a solid color like yours. And uh, I was like, oh, I'll be doggone. I was wrong. Um, wasn't a stock. It is a Dome Zero, but it's the racing one. Where'd the box top go? So uh, there's the picture showing a real car on the on the box top. That looks like the real car. And nothing I can read there. So, all right, guys. Uh, that's just kind of a quick review. And, uh, like I said, mainly wanted to show this for uh, Brian at uh, BG Model Works. If you're not subscribed to Brian at BG Model Works, go, uh, go check him out. And uh, I probably won't do a bench update this week. I will wait till uh, Thursday to see you all again. All right, y'all. Take care. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Uh,